know, the book is focused on, uh, on a very narrow kind of experiment that took place and uh, a, a very narrow or very particular um, sort of problem that was created when chimpanzees were raised as if they were human beings. But, um, but I hope that the book will open out into our relationships with animals in general. When I started to write the book, I thought that I did not know enough about chimpanzees to write the book, and so I had to do a lot of research. And, um, and as the book, I hope, will open for readers, it also opened for me, so that I went from thinking I don't know enough about chimpanzees to thinking I don't know enough about animals and um, about, uh, about the recent scientific work in animal cognition, what they're capable of. Uh, and so I, I took a class. I'm lucky enough to live in a university town so I could just go to one of the professors and ask if I could sit in on the class she was teaching that quarter on animal theory. And so I learned a great deal in that class about crows and octopuses and elephants and bees and um, horses, uh, dogs, you name it. Um, uh, and I think, um, you know, everything I learned was so incredible and so interesting, but the sort of overall message I took home from the class is that we have underestimated the capabilities of our fellow animals at every possible turn, that they are much more complicated and much more capable than we have ever imagined them to be.